<laughs> Let's face it, no matter how well you plan, sometimes problems do arise on Turkey Day. No biggie. Here with nine sanity saving hacks for Thanksgiving, the one, the only lifestyle expert and our friend, Mandy Landefeld. I'm so excited. I'm dropping my scripts. All right, this is so great because, as always, Everybody, it is stressful. Everybody's making all their plans, but sometimes things happen and you have the hacks right. for the solutions. Because, you know, it, it is all going to kind of go to pot in a sense, but you want it to be something that you can pull together, get going, have a great time. Yes. Maybe make yourself a drink. Yes. Okay. Is <laughs> but, there a okay. drink on this too? Oh, yeah, no, no. no. Okay, Mandy, what kind up? of hack is wrong What's up with I know. that? No. I know. All right, let's start with this one. Okay, so we're always looking for extra space in our fridge. Obviously, we got to put the turkey, we got to put the pies, all the casseroles, especially when you're prepping, and hopefully you're prepping a few days in advance. So when you need to make extra space, Go to your coolers. Your coolers can be your secondary fridge if you start running out of room. And Perfect. especially the things that, you know, juices, they don't have, they're not going to go bad if they're like, you know, just slightly chilled. Right. As opposed to put things in that you know you're not going to need, that you, or if you are just putting things to stay in your, before you put them into the oven. Right. And you just are temporarily putting them in there, use your coolers. Oh, so your gosh. Coolers are we have like four. So saving. that's perfect. Yeah, yeah yes. exactly. Okay. Okay, now. I love to put my recipes that I'm making all over. My kitchen looks like a giant bulletin board, but oh, that's great. I also put, and this is our, our, this is the best ever recipe you'll ever have for an appetizer for Thanksgiving, oh. our butternut squash okay. bruschetta, which I think we've made here before. Okay, wait, can but, we put that on our website later? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. And then, um, but also your timeline of how things are going in and out of the oven. Right. Or what things need to be done. And especially if it's up and on a board, and you have like Aunt Betty coming in saying, what can I do? Yeah. You can go ahead oh, and give great. them a job. Right, you're like, okay, you know? delegate. And they're not like, how do I make it? You can say, go find that recipe on the on the cabinet, you know, on the where the coffee yes. pots are. And, and you stuff can like see that. it clearly, right. I love that. Okay. okay, if your turkey gets dried out, your mashed Ugh. potatoes get dried out, your stuffing, anything that needs a little zhuzh, Really good chicken stock is the way to make it happen. Okay, good chicken stock, hot in a little pot, on the side right. will revive anything. So um, it won't be. I don't know if it would revive Jim's turkey. We call it turkey gate in 2016. It was gravy fest. It was gravy <laughs> and, and bourbon fest. Well, that's because he took it, cooked it too quickly on the green yeah. egg. It happens. Yeah. <laughs> it can get dried out. But it really can make a big difference. Just make sure you're using good chicken stock, not like the dishwater stuff that maybe our grandmas used to use. But oh, okay. Good chicken stock. Good Nothing but the quality. best. Yeah. And that turkey, juicy as ever. And then to free up your oven space, put your side dishes in your slow cooker. You can put it on low. Nice. If it starts to get too hot, just turn it off. And it also is an insulated little mini oven, you know, and so it keeps things hot without drying them out. Plus the steam arises within it. So it really doesn't let it dry out yeah. like an oven would. One of the biggest complaints is we don't have enough space. You got right. the turkey. And then if you're like us, we do lots of sides. I mean, you can plug you it in on a counter or even on a table with a little extension. You can be very crafty, okay. you know, that got kind it. of thing. And then have you ever made gravy and you're constantly having yes. to rework it, rework it because you made it, but then now it's cold right. or it congealed, congealed or whatever, all that stuff. Totally. Okay. Your thermos is where to keep it right after you make it the first time. So go ahead, make it, put it in your thermos. It'll stay hot all day long. It's and then brilliant. every time you have to refill your gravy boat, it's piping hot every single time it gets refilled in the yes. gravy boat. So you always have hot gravy. That's perfect. And it doesn't get gummy and gross. Yes, that's actually my mom's dish, the gravy. Yeah. Nice. But I'll see her going, oh no, look. Yeah, because so she's constantly having to go back to it. Yes. And then it also gets a pot off of your cooktop too. Exactly. So once you've done it, you you put it in the thermos and you forget about it. This, oh, okay, yeah, the and then chopping. I start prepping on Monday with my chopping. Yeah. I do all of my veggies on Monday. I put them in big Ziploc bags and then put all of them at the same kind. So a bunch of onions, a yes. bunch of celery. If I have extra at the end of the day, so what? I'll yeah, just put it in the freezer use and use it for a soup later. Right. So no big deal, but get that done. Anything you can prep in advance a couple days, get it done early. Put on your favorite show, just chop away, yes. have baggies, and you're, you're, this saves so much time. Listen, my dressing that I love takes is so many ingredients, and th that's the, the hardest part. Yeah. Is all the chopping, yeah. so get and it over with. you always run out of counter space. You're not having to pull out another cutting board. It's prepped. You're your own prep cook. Yes, and chat. So, have your mom pour right. a glass of wine and yeah. relax, but get it done. Yeah, and then you don't ever have to have those conversations about how tiny to chop it either. Right, right. Okay. okay. Now, a quick
quick cleanup, and this is a, this is a trick I use for any time I have people coming over, any kind of party, all that kind of stuff. I always have an empty laundry basket in my laundry room, and I run around the whole house and any loose papers, any random shoes, oh, any like you are saving you know, me, Jim Nerf Hates. guns and all that stuff. Right. Yeah, right. Because I always I'll do something with it, and then to yeah. be quite honest, I'll be like, what? Because then was, you're not shoving it into a cabinet, that and you can't remember what you did. Yes. It all goes in one location, and if you need to find it after the party from your quick cleanup, you know where to find it. Brilliant. Okay, next, the kids need something to do. That way the adults can continue chatting. And I love to put out either paper mache or real pumpkins on the tables and a big tub full of colored markers and let them just let them have go to town. Yeah, yes. they can play tic-tac-toe on the thing, I yeah. you know, whatever you want to do. But it keeps them occupied. Right, okay, and, and then the last day. one is also a cooler trick. This is your mini oven. This is your warming oven. And so I take all of my casseroles straight out of the oven, Just all nice and hot, piping hot. And I insulate the bottom yeah. with an old towel and the top with mm -hmm. an old yep. towel. And it will stay just as hot yes. as it was coming out of the oven. Got it. So I'm like, we're starting with a cooler and we're, and ending, we're ending with, with it. These are so, the so best ways to great. survive the holidays. Mandy, thank you so much. Thank you so much for more recipes, for all of these great hacks. Please visit Mandy's website. It is sumptuousliving.net. That's sumptuousliving.net. And Mandy's gonna stick around for, for real talk. talk. So please make sure you do as well because you don't want to miss this coming mm -hmm. up the ultimate holiday gift guide for everyone on your list we'll be right back these are so great love it <laughs>